The R4 on my cradle most closely to my heart is primarily an advertisement and gambling habit delivery system aimed at young men who lack any critical vocabulary for the hobby in which they while away most of their time. And like quite a bit more so than other art forms that are also primarily advertisement and buying habit delivery systems aimed at even more men who mostly lack any critical language for the hobby in which they whittle away all of their money. I speak of the video games. The soul of every major creative industry coalesces at the crossroads of art and commerce. It's just the size of the crossing roads that makes the difference. For video games, commerce is the Beijing, Hong Kong, Macau Expressway and art is a cracked, desiccated a dirt access road that we just can't get that dang fallen tree out of till the county sends in the backhoe. So it's appropriate that the seasonal ritual celebrations of my beloved art are marketing conventions intended for Walmart distributors. But game toucher Christmas has long been sickly and finally perished in the pandemic. Or more accurately, it contentiously split apart like a cave ooze or a Soviet country in the Balkans. E3 was always dumb. Largely a holding pen for a captive audience directed to watch rich men's sons try to pretend that they possess qualities as fleetingly human as creativity or passion. Watch them embarrassingly, year over year, try and chisel a face and a haircut onto a spiced up pitch deck. And I loved it. I loved E3 the way someone loves being buried up to their neck in sand just to make sure that the tide comes in. I loved it like a dog who loves being thrown into a pond full of vengeful squirrels. I loved E3 like an early Puritan loved Christmas. I watched every E3 either personally or in a somewhat professional manner since they were made widely available on the internet and like little quick time players that chug along at 240p. Every disastrous tech demo. Every shaking quaking developer that was dragged on stage seemingly at gunpoint. Every bull shot vertical slice. All the celebrities that were earning that paycheck by having no idea what they were selling. All the attempts of these executive vampires to do a thing that was like the things that Steve Jobs used to do were all like newly formed drops of morning dew falling perspiratively off a drooping pomegranate into my awaiting mouth. But she's dead now. She's split. So what do we get in the will? The wrench to the summer marketing hydrant has been handed to a random Canadian man who gets to do what he does because his parents owned IMAX. So we get the Dorito Pope's fanzine, the Dorito Pope's summer zine. Looks like Devolver made a short film again. A lot of indie stuff and good for them. Here's one million PC games hosted by Day9. God bless him. And then the big marketing packets that the big publishers would have probably released around Christmas if they had their druthers. So what's the reason for the season? Why keep the hot summer trappings? Christmas as we know it is a gestalt syncretic gumwad of Saturnalia and Germanic and Nordic pagan traditions, all glazed over with a Christianity that sunk down to become a palimpsest glazed over again with modern consumer capitalism. But it's all still couched in a truth that people want a couple months during the winter to fuck off and party and get drunk and do forest drugs and cross dress. Will we still call these two random weeks in the summer E3 even when everyone's forgotten the meaning of the name? Can an art form as cold, bleedingly focused on increased shareholder value and playing shell games with venture capital ever generate the collective will needed to form long syncretic tradition? Does it deserve to garner that kind of will from us? Do we epigenetically want to drown in a tannery pit of commercials? Or do we just want a couple weeks to collectively think that new video games are cool? Because they are often very cool. I don't know, but I'm still gonna call this time of year E3. And the guy with the IMAX parents seems to still want to do it in the summer, so I'm ready to take your marketing load. Spray me with your advertisements, Dorito Daddy. <laughs> Fucking stupid.